right, today we're going to do math test number five. And this is checking your understanding of place value. So Mrs. Murphy wants to see if you're understanding place value since we started this chapter. So make sure your name is at the top. Everybody double check right now. Okay, now my second graders in here, you are not starting your paper yet. I'm going to explain these to you. So on numbers one, two, and three, you are going to write each number in expanded form. So do numbers slinky dog. And remember how we stretch out the numbers. So I'm going to take, don't do this yet, but I'm going to take 871. And I'm going to write down how many 800s is that? How many tens? And how many ones? So I'm going to stretch that number out. And we did that yesterday in our review. Okay, on the bottom, you have to read these numbers. Now, watch up here. I'm going to put this chart out here to help you. So if Mrs. Murphy is trying to read this first one on number four, and I'm going to help you with number four, and I get nine, but I'm stuck, T-Y, nine. Oh, I can look up here and find it. What do you guys think it is? Oh, 90. 90. So I found it up here. So I'm going to leave this on my clever touch so that you can use this to help you. Because I know you guys aren't the best at sounding out words yet or reading words. But if you have this up here, this will help you. Okay? So on number four, I can sound this out. 98. So right now with your pencil, I'm going to give you number four. Number four is 98. So then I take my pencil and I write the numbers to match the words. 98. So numbers five, six, and seven, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to read the number words and you're going to write the number. And Mrs. Murphy will put that chart on the clever touch in a minute. Okay? Now, flip it over to the back, and I'm going to help you with these three. I'm going to read them to you. I'm going to have you do the work, but I'm going to read it. All right, number 11. You can pick up your pencil again. It says, Nicole saw 735 fish at the aquarium. What is the value of the underlying digit in 735? So on this line, I want you to tell me, how much is that 7? Write it on the line right now. Don't write the number 7. That will be wrong. Listen to the number again. 735. I gave you a hint. How much is that 7? What is its value? 700. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Everyone knows. Thank you, Tasha. Hey. You're just as guilty as him. All right. Write down your answer for number 11. It's okay, Tyson. You forgot. It's okay. Number 12. It says, Sam has 998 markers. Write the number in words to show how many markers. So do you guys think you're going to need this chart again? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So when, I, when we're all done, you are going to have to find 900, and I'll make it really big so you can see it. And if you spell something kind of not perfect, I'm not going to mark it wrong, but do your best and use this chart. So in words, you're going to have to spell 998. Okay? Okay. All right. Number 13. You can do this right now. Write 462 another way. So they wrote it words. I want you right now with your pencil to write it with numbers. 462. Where do we put 
with that? On number 13, please. Do we write it or just really spell it? Write it with the numbers, please. Six, I'm sorry, 462. Okay. Write it with the numbers. Number. Yep, use your numbers to write it, okay? Okay, now, in a minute, you guys will finish number 12. But I'm going to tell you, a number is 14. You're going to fill in the missing numbers. Look at the pattern. It's going 110, blank, blank, 125, blank, 135, blank. So think, is this pattern getting bigger by ones, fives, tens, or hundreds? Well, it's going 125, blank, 135. So it's not going by tens. Because this would be tens right here. So what do you think it's going by, Lewis? Five. Fives. Good job. So I would count up by five if I were you. Mrs. Murphy gave you a little hint, and Lewis did too. By fives. Count with your fingers if you need to. Start at 110. Count five more. Then count five more. Then count five more. Okay? Numbers 15, 16, 17, 18. You guys can do this. Remember, less than, greater than, equal to. The alligator eats the bigger number. Okay? On this one, guys, can I help you number 17? Yeah. On number 17, you have to figure out this side. So if I have 300 plus 0 plus 8, what is that going to equal? Hayden? 308. So That's the same. On this side is 308, and on this side is 308. So Tyson, what do you think the sign is we're going to use? Equal. Yep, both sides are equal. That's the only one that I think you would have got tricked on. Because we haven't I quite get tricked on that part yet. I think this one's going to get tricked now, on. Now, on numbers 19 and 20. I want you to remember the trick that Mrs. Murphy taught you. If you have 500, how many tens is that? Remember, you add a zero to that five. And then how many ones is that? Add another zero to the five. Wait. Remember that trick I taught you guys? Okay? Okay? All right, now. No, wait, wait. You're just listening to Mrs. Murphy. Now, I'm going to go back to the front page. Oh, I already did the front page tonight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to let you guys work. And you're going to keep your mouth at a zero. If you get done and nobody else is done yet, or you're done and people aren't, are still working, you are going to quietly at your desk either ARE or do freckle until everybody gets done. Once everybody gets done, we'll do our art project. I'm going to put this on the board, so if you need this to help you, I'm going to make it bigger so that you can see it. And my remote learners, you can use this also. Okay, we're going to keep our voices at a zero because it's a test. And I want to see how well you can do on place value. Does that look okay, guys? Yeah. The 1,000 is kind of cut off at the bottom, but I think you can still see it, okay? All right, remote learners, if you need to pause the video, you certainly can to complete this on your test. Okay.